Hi. Now for the first part of the question, which is very straightforward, all you've got to do is substitute your values of x is 1.8, 2.2 and 3 into the equation for y. y equals the square root of 10x minus x squared. If you do that, you should find you get 3.84, 4.14 and 4.58. But for the next part, what we've got to do is work out the integral then, let's just put it in, get an approximation that is, for the integral from 1 to 3 of the square root of 10x minus x squared by using the trapezium rule. And if you're not familiar with this, just very quickly, what we've got is that I've just drawn a sketch of the graph. You don't have to draw a sketch of the graph at all, but it's just really here to give you an idea. Here's the curve of y equals the square root of 10x minus x squared with our table of values for x going between 1 and 3. And if we're to work out this integral, it's approximately then, well, we're going to work out an approximation by looking at the area of the trapeziums. And by the trapezium rule, what you should know is that it's essentially this, that the area, which is going to be basically this integral here, is the width of a strip divided by 2 and it would be the first height plus twice the sum of the middle heights plus the last height. So I'll just take you through this, the width of a strip, you can see what the width of the strips are going to be, clearly 0.4. So we'll just fill in those values so we can say that this integral is not going to be equal anymore, it's just going to be approximate so we'll just do a symbol like that and the width of the strip then is 0.4 divided by 2. Now the first height is this height here which is the y value of 3 so just put big square bracket there 3 plus now it's 2 times the sum of all the middle heights that's this one plus this height this height and this height and there'll be these values through here that we need to add together so that'll be 2 times 3.47 plus 3.84 plus 4.14 plus 4.39 and then we need to plus the last height so it'll be plus 4.58 all right so that's the trapezium rule which gets an approximation then to the area under the graph which is essentially an approximation to this integral Work this out on your calculator and what you should find is that you get approximately then 7.852 for this integral. Okay, so that brings us now to the end of this question.